Okay, let's take question number 41. Area of the region bounded by this one is equal to. So, let us start this one. x plus 9 is greater than equal to 5y but less than equal to 15. as well as y greater than equal to mod x plus 3 its root. If x is greater than minus 3, I can see the curve as y square equals x plus 3. So, it can be traced in this fashion. When x is less than equal to minus 3, I can trace it like this. Now, when 5y less than equal to x plus 9, if I consider as the strict equation, so I can see on x equals 0, y is 9 by 5, say here. When y is 0, x is minus 9, say somewhere here. Now, joining the two, it will be intersecting the parabola like this and will move again. right? So, the required portion would be this one. Now, we have to find these two points of intersections that x less than equal to 6 would not be required because I have to find the common. Solving this part that is y square equals minus x minus 3 and 5y equals x plus 9, we get x equals minus 4 this point. Solving y square equals x plus 3 and 5y equals x plus 9, we find two points out of which just the requirement is fulfilled at x equals 1. One point is required for me. So, the required area finally we obtain integral minus 4 to 1 under this line, right? That is x plus 9 by 5 dx minus minus 4 to minus 3 root of minus x minus 3 dx minus minus 3 to 1 root of x plus 3 dx. So, solving this one we simply get the required area as 3 by 2 square units. So, this is clear. So, we can find the required area and we can see from the given options, option C is correct. Right? Okay, let us move to the next one. Okay, let us take question number 42. The value of summation k equals 1 to 13, some expression is given, is equal to. Let us simplify this expression. Clearly, we have two sign in denominator and we can see the difference for each term would be coming out constant. So, we can multiply and divide by that difference. So, we can check here sign pi by 4 plus k pi by 6 minus pi by 4 plus k minus 1 times pi by 6 divided by the same two terms sin pi by 4 plus k minus 1 pi by 6 into sin pi by 4 plus k pi by 6. The difference here we can see pi by 4 is cancelled, k pi by 6 is cancelled, simply pi by 6. So, sin pi by 6 in numerator, sin pi by 6 in denominator means 1 upon half or simply 2, right? This is twice summation k equals 1 to 13. This is sin a minus b that is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. 
साइन ए कॉस बी डिवाइडेड बाय साइन ए साइन बी टर्म इज अवेलेबल राइट सो वी कैन सी हेयर दिस इज ए टेकन दिस वन इज टेकन एज बी सो दिस इज एक्चुअली ए दिस इज एक्चुअली बी सो वी हैव साइन ए कॉस बी माइनस कॉस ए साइन बी डिवाइडेड बाय साइन ए साइन बी गिविंग मी कॉट बी दैट इज कॉट पाई बाय फोर प्लस के माइनस वन पाई बाय सिक्स माइनस कॉट पाई बाय फोर प्लस के पाई बाय सिक्स दिस इज क्लियर now i can substitute the value for k from 1 to 13 and can see the pattern here twice so on substituting k equals 1 to 13 we can see the terms obtained as cot pi by 4 minus cot pi by 4 plus pi by 6 plus cot pi by 4 plus pi by 6 minus and so on so similar terms would be going on we can see that the first term from here and the last term from here would be the remaining two so this is equal to twice of cot pi by 4 minus cot pi by 4 Plus thirteen pi by six, or simply twice of one minus. This is two pi plus pi by six, so this is cot pi by four plus pi by six. That is seventy five degree. Cot seventy five. That is ten fifteen. Ten fifteen. That is two minus root three. So it is twice of one minus two minus root three, or twice of Root three minus one. So from the given options, we can see that option C is the correct one, right? Therefore, option C is correct. Let's move to the next one.